What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Going to do a quick video, man. Uh, Boxing Scene is reporting that Julian J. Rock Williams will defend his uh, middleweight, junior middleweight championship in his hometown of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at Temple University against Jason Just, Just, Rosario. Guys uh, resides out of Miami, Florida. He's a Dominican Republic. He's a Dominican. He's a Dominican from the Dominican Republic. My bad. He's a Dominican guy. Uh, he fought uh, Nathaniel Gallimore. You know, the guy that fought Erickson Lubin uh, last week and got whitewashed, got schooled. Uh, he fought him and got stopped in the ninth round. Got knocked out, stopped by uh, Nathaniel Gallimore in the ninth round. He fought another guy that I've never heard of, a guy named Hernandez. Had a draw with him, but he took the rematch and uh, stopped him in the rematch. So he's got that win. He's got one loss and one draw. He hasn't really fought anybody of note, no elite fighter. Nathaniel Gallimore is the best guy on his resume, and Gallimore is a C-plus level fighter, and he got stopped in the ninth round. So this is a disappointing uh, matchup for me, for Julian J. Rock Williams. You know, we went from J. Rock Williams versus Jared Hurd on December 14th. Jared Hurd pulled out, you know, part of ways with his longtime trainer, Ernesto Rodriguez, and then it was speculated that it would be Ezra Londa Lara would take his place. They were negotiating with him. Probably couldn't afford him. That's one thing about those fights on Fox, regular TV, man. It's hard to pay two uh, guys uh, eight figures type of paydays, seven figure type of paydays. You know, it's hard to do that. You got to have one guy that's the clear A side, and you get another guy coming in there and that's going to take much less. Kind of like Danny Garcia Granados. You know, he's a clear A side. That's the type of fights they put together on uh, Fox nine times out of ten. Now, we've got, you know, very rare occasion when you get two guys both on a high level. We'll get that on the 21st with. Uh, Tony Harrison and um, and uh, Jamel Charlo. That's very rare. But you look over all their schedule, man. You know, they had Leo Santa Cruz fighting some guy in Los Angeles that uh, was nobody barely heard of. And we had uh, Jamel Charlo fought a guy named Jorge Cota. Not my, not, not my, I got, maybe I'm getting his uh, last first name wrong, but the guy named Cota, the guy that fought uh, Jamel Charlo. Now, uh, Rosario fought Koto and beat him on a split decision, a 10-round split decision. So he's got that win. Koto's kind of awkward, but as you see, Jamel Charlo, you know, knocked him out, man, ran through him and put him to sleep. So uh, he was kind of awkward, though, man. He throw punches from different angles, so he could probably give problems to lesser fighters, and evidently uh, he gave a lot of problems to Rosario as he won that fight by split decision. So that's what we got, man. Uh, disappointing, man, with the Russian Redder scene, uh, J, uh, J Rock against uh, Israel and Lara. But when I found out that they was moving his fight from December 14th, that in the, in the Bar Barclays, they was moving it to his uh, hometown, uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, January 18th. I knew he was not gonna fight Lara in a, in a hometown fight. He's not gonna make the same mistake Jerry Hurd made, taking a, a a high level hometown matchup when he fought uh, J Rock Williams in uh, the D.C. area. He wasn't gonna make the same mistake. So this is gonna be a, a a showcase fight for him. He need to go out there and knock him out in devastating fashion. Stop him earlier than Nathaniel Gallimore stopped him. You know. And uh, move on, and hopefully we get him fighting the winner of Tony Harris and Jamal Charlo, too, the rematch. Hopefully we get that next. In the meantime, you know, uh, you know, it's just disappointing, man. This guy Rosario, he's fought nobody, man. Fought nobody. I could, I would at least accept it a Terrell Gasha. You know, this guy's been in the ring with Trout. I thought he beat Trout. He fought uh, very competitive. Oh, he already fought J-Rock. That's why they don't want to fight him again. They fought before, but it was a, it was a, it was a close competitive fight. J-Rock was in a tough battle. He was able to pull away late, but that was a competitive fight. Why did I give him a rematch? It ain't like you whitewashed him. He'd be like, what's the point? He put he put on a pretty good uh, show, but we're going to get the guy Rosario as they try to tap into the Latino market right there in Miami, Florida, and maybe they're getting ready to stage a fight in Miami, so they're trying to boost their profile, their brand. You know, as far as Miami, Florida go, we got a guy out of Miami, Florida, hoping to get some views out of there. I doubt that that seems kind of like a pipe dream as Miami don't pay attention unless you win it on a high level. They, they're not, they don't have no rabbit sports fans in Miami. They didn't, they wasn't rabbit when LeBron was over there winning championship with D Wade and uh, Chris Bosh. They're just not a rabbit fan base. They, they want to be seen and want to go to the beach. want to go to uh Rodeo drive and stuff like that. That's what they want to do. So we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what transpires here, man. But that's a quick thing, man. Julian J rock Williams versus Jesse Rosario, January 18th. On Fox, live from Temple University, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That'll be a week before the Errol Spence fight with Danny Garcia that's that's slated to take place. But we don't know what's going on with Errol, man. I'm, I've been digging and digging and trying to get some information on that. Is that fight going to actually happen or are they going to uh, put another fight on for that date? Because that's a high-profile date, man. That's the week before the Super Bowl. So it's not going to be a lot of things going on in sports. And you want to put a fight of significant uh 
significance uh, on that date, man. You don't want to just throw anybody on there. So if you can't get uh, Errol and um, Errol and uh, Danny, maybe do some kind of combination between these names. You got Dan Garcia, Mikey Garcia, and Manny Pacquiao. Two of those three guys, you on that date for Jason Fifth. That'll be a hot profile fight. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holler.